maybe more than the right to play over there. But man won't have been possible. Command can take you for a little while. We will disappoint you. Go dodge.
We can let me appreciate our guests that have joined us today to celebrate Jesus. It's not just a women convention, but a thanksgiving to God that has sustained us all for another one year together again. Let's clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We can let appreciate our mommy in the house and daddy. They have told us the best of The way are uh, uh, they tired from the anointing? Yeah. <laughs> Not in that one. <laughs> I celebrate the grace. Yeah. There are classmates, exactly. but there is no grace. Yeah. 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 The Bible says, yeah. I am sharpened yeah. iron. When I'm always online with her, I always pick up something. Yeah. My, my faith is being sharp. Yeah. I want you to celebrate her for me again. Yeah. Welcome, sir. God bless you. And our beautiful soldiers in the Lord, they are also here. Let's celebrate them as well. The grace of God will continue to flow in your life. Because the Bible says it brought up a child the way they will grow. So that when they grow, they will not deviate from it. The teaching of the Lord that you have learned from mommy and daddy, I pray today that the grace of God for you to continue sustaining in it will never run dry in your life in Jesus' name. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm only amazing. God bless you. Amen. I celebrate great in your life as well. Amen. I really appreciate your presence. Amen. Thank you for coming. And I pray as you come to our to fellowship talk today, your life will not remain the same. Amen. You have a little testify to his glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. From our uh, city of grace, our common human, the doctor, the only one, the old family seven, the guy they call you Rope. Please join me to celebrate him. Hallelujah. You are highly welcome. You are highly favored. Your coming today is not by a mistake. The Lord will reach you, meet you at the point of your need in Jesus' name. Amen. And our sister over there, Mommy Happy. God bless you. We thank God for our lives. God bless you. You are welcome. I will not forget to introduce our Father, the pillar of this building, who the Lord has given the mantle to protect us from to guide us, to lead us. So we are the sheep. He has given him the gate of the head of that gate. If you can't walk off a leg on man of the neck of the head, God has given him the gate.
But you know, say, if we will not agree, That's if we come here, we will pass here. Yeah. So today, never will know that ah, a new generation has arrived. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Let's go on our feet. Let's go for the business of today. By the grace of God, I'm going to be brief because we have spent time today. Amen. Amen. Glorious God,
the book of Mark. Amen. Mark 16 to 18, you are there, you can read God bless you, man. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. <coughs> but he that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpent, and if they drink any deadly things, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay their hands on the sick, and they shall be recovered. Amen. 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 Whatever that believe, before you can be able to flow in the power of the Most High God, you must first of all believe in Him. Hallelujah. Amen. Before you can begin to operate in the heavenly glory, first of all, you must have belief, you must have faith. Praise God. But the Bible yeah. says, it says without faith, no one can praise God. Faith is the key. Before we go in, let me tell us the meaning of love. What it means to flow. The flow is when you are moving smoothly. You move smoothly. Everyone will know how the river flows. Without disturbance. Without trouble. It flow. It flow and it flow because it has the rights, it has the grace, it has, it has the roots. That is why it flows without destruction. The power is the great ability. Praise God. Power is the great ability to do things in authority. When you have power, you begin to walk in authority. When you have power, you begin to say something and you go to pass because you are walking in authority. You are walking in the heavenly power, heavenly glory. Hallelujah. Amen. As we call you, a car cannot move. Without engine, a type of God cannot flow in the power of God without it. Before you can begin to flow in the power of God, you must first of all build up your faith. You must let your faith come up, come out of you. Let your faith be seen. Don't be like others. Let your faith distinguish you from others. The only thing that makes the difference from the church world and the child of God is that grace, that oil. Without faith, that oil will not flow in your life. You will not receive the oil. So if you want to flow in this power, first of all, you walk on your feet. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because you cannot be a man here on your life and expect to come and flow to send our send our work as in the Praise God. As a wife, you cannot be a fighter. After finish fighting, you come, you expect to receive the power or to even flow. You cannot flow. You must first of all teach yourself. Teach yourself. Even the Bible says, it says I know it's not easy, but he that asks shall receive. Praise God. Amen. This topic today it has come for you and I to learn. It's the word of God, it's not my word. For us to walk in ourselves. So at that power the Lord has given to us, God said before we be informed, He knows us, and He has given us that authority. The only reason that the God the power to us is not issue is our iniquity. I want to get that. The only thing stopping you from me and me from expanding that power, putting it to work, is our iniquity. Because He has already given it to us. The power has been released. It now depends on you how you can activate it. When you have a house, you do not open it to the key. You can't go inside. 
No matter how beautiful, how big, how small, how conducive it will be, without the key in your heart, open the door, you can't get in. Without your faith, that power cannot be, cannot work. It cannot be activated. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, how do we flow with this power of God? We will first of all have an encounter with Christ. Before you can flow in this power, first of all, you, can, you must have an encounter with God. If you look at the story of this woman in the issue of blood, before the power left Jesus, she touched Jesus. 